Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk to you about liver function and its relationship to histamine intolerance. So the liver is one of the most important organs in the body. It's responsible for so many different things and some of them are listed. I made this infographic which I have on my Instagram page somewhere but it helps to convert your inactive thyroid hormone, which is T4, into the active thyroid hormone, which is T3. It helps break down nutrients from food, I'm just reading, um, to produce energy in the body. It helps to remove toxins in the body. But one of the really important things it does is it helps to take water or, or fat-soluble hormones and turn them into water-soluble hormones and flush them out. So. One of the biggest driving factors of histamine intolerance is estrogen dominance. So supporting the liver can actually help us to break down and metabolize that estrogen properly and push it out so we are not storing so much of it in the body. And that way the estro estrogen is not driving up histamine levels in the body. Because when you have histamine intolerance, you have trouble breaking down histamine. So you don't want any added histamine. So um, it's also really important because too much histamine in the body can actually increase liver enzymes and that can damage the organ. And then too much, um, if, you're, if your liver enzymes are high, that can actually cause an increase in histamine. So it's this like vicious bi-directional cycle. So what, this is why I always start people off with supporting the liver. And in the book, it's it's phase two, and I kind of want to break this down a little bit because there is some confusion, I think, on the different phases in the book. I wrote this book for two different pe you know, people. One is someone who's going to work with me, and one is someone who's not. So if you're doing this book on your own, I kind of wanted to give it to you in baby steps, but in reality, I start all my patients off with liver support right away. And that's because the liver is so important. So I want you to start pushing toxins out of the body effectively. I want you to start balancing your hormones. Um, I want you to be ready if we're going to start to kill, you know, bacteria or yeast or anything in the gut to be able to get that out of the body. So I have people, you know, my patients always start with my supplement on my supplement line, which is called Optimal Reset. Um, and the, the supplement is called Liver Love. So I have everybody start with Liver Love, my Histo Relief, and then the Optimal Multi. That's kind of like my little starter kit. Um, but if you don't do well with supplements, which some people with histamine intolerance are very sensitive to supplements, you can do it other ways. So in the book, I talk about that. So I list the other ways to support your liver. One is you can take castor oil packs and you can actually order these on Amazon in a kit. And what you do is you, it comes with this like little wool flannel and you pour castor oil on it and then you put that right over your liver. And then what I do is I take like a, a bag, like a, like a garbage bag or whatever plastic bag and then put um, a towel over that and then put a heating pad on that. And you do that for about 45 minutes to an hour. And when I was really, really sick with mold toxicity, this was the first thing I was able to do because I couldn't handle any supplements at that time. So this was the first thing that I did to really help me to be able to start to get to be able to take the stuff that I needed to get me better. So that's one way. Another way is um, Epsom salt baths. So Epsom salts are really good. It helps to pull toxins out of the body. You have to be really careful you know, you can be really sensitive to this. So I would do maybe a half of a cup of Epsom salt the first time you take an Epsom salt bath and see how you do with it. And you can go up to about three cups and you can do that for, you know, 30 minutes to 45 minutes. It's really good to do that at night. It's kind of a nice calming nighttime routine, get you ready for a really good sleep, which also reduces histamine. And then another option is infrared saunas. So I do not have an infrared sauna, um, but I know many people who do and love it. I would, you know, warn against people who are suffering with like an active dermatitis. It can be a little bit aggravating sometimes for that. But if you don't have any issues like that, infrared sauna can also be a good choice. So however you decide to do it, supporting the liver is really, really important when you're dealing with histamine intolerance, thyroid disease, 
really anything, trying to lose weight. Um, honestly, it, it's just good for everybody. I support my liver every day. I've been taking liver love for a very long time and I will continue to take it. It actually really helped me with my chemical sensitivities because when you have histamine intolerance, you are kind of really sensitive to everything and, and we, we don't detox well. So we hold on to things. So I was getting to a point where I could barely even going to go into the store anymore without having um, a bad reaction. I would have to leave within like five minutes. And when I started supporting my liver, I could, you know, take in all those chemicals in the store, but I could also push them out so I could tolerate it and my chemical sensitivities went away for the most part. So anyway, I hope you've learned something from this. You are more than welcome to leave me comments with more things you would like videos on. And I look forward to hearing your questions.